butterfly. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, and I'm fishing. Okay, well, I didn't actually expect to be able to do that, but hello, everybody, and welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns, and we are here doing our very first uh, little fishing event. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, am I gonna catch a fish? <gasps> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, how do I, how do I pull it out of the water? Oh my gosh, I got it. You guys, I just caught my first fish. I didn't even expect to. I was trying to chase a butterfly. That is so me. All right. You got a rainbow trout. It's 33 centimeters. Oh my gosh. And I just leveled up. This is the first time you've caught this kind. You've earned the rank or er, you've earned the rank amateur angular. But oh my gosh, you guys, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. So hello, everybody. And welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns. And we're still on the last day that we left off on because we just got our little fishing rod. And I thought we'd, um, we'd put it to some good use and maybe run around, take care of some of our farm chores if we have any left, like watering our plants for the second time. And then think about how we are going to be getting our chicken. We have enough money that technically I could get a chicken today. I'm kind of tempted to. I'm kind of nervous though because you need to have chicken feed in order to take care of your chicken and the chicken feed is 100 gold a day. So hopefully by doing a little bit of extra work, fishing along the sidelines, taking care of all of our part-time jobs, we will be able to make enough money to tend to our chickens. And oh my gosh, do you guys ever have some fun names for them? Oh, and actually I'm gonna read the description for the rainbow trout. Because some, for some reason, the descriptions are really just kind of adorable to me. A fish you can catch from spring to fall. The male's body changes into a beautiful rainbow color, hence its name. Yay! All right, so we got the rainbow trout. Didn't even mean to. I was actually literally chasing a butterfly, and we just accidentally ended up um, bumping into the fish. But let's go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. I went too quick. Oh, why did I do that? Let's try again. Oh, now I can't see. All right, I think we're supposed to be able to. Oh, we can change the angle we're at so we can see a little bit better. Okay, so let's see how exhausted fishing makes us when we're trying to catch these cute little guys. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, it's so cute. Why is she so adorable with her little hat and the little butterflies flying over us? What did we catch this time? A killifish that is three centimeters. And so it didn't use up any of our energy that time. So I'm gonna have to see. Oh, 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 here comes another shadow. Come here, little fish fish. Oh, 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 I got too excited, dang it. All right, I need to be a little bit more patient. But all right, so now we have an extra way to make a little extra income and take care of Clover Farm. So we're getting closer and closer and closer to making our farm awesome enough that our dad won't be able to argue with us at um, just how cool we are at taking care of everything. I actually think it's late enough in the day that the little shop that sells animals will actually be closed. So let's just spend the rest of today doing a wee little bit of fishing because we did get our very first fishing rod in today's game day so it makes sense that little farmer Siri would be so excited she would just want to go out and do some fishing and fishing right over here at this waterfall with the peaceful butterflies going over our head and we got a smelt oh that's so cool yay all right we caught it and now we're really really tired so I guess we should go ahead and let her go to bed <gasps> look at this little mole cricket we can oh who's that Megan Megan hi Oh, did I have time to still ship things? I thought you came like much earlier than this. If you want to stick to a healthy diet, you've got to get your vegetables. They've got all kinds of fiber and material. Oh, yep. Okay, hi Megan, thank you. Oh, maybe I should have given her like a, a radish or something. But I guess we had a little extra time left and I just didn't realize it to try to ship things. So now I have to hold on to what I've got. Um, so what did we get from all of that cool fishing? So we got one rainbow trout, we got one killifish, and we got one smelt. <gasps> the smelt is worth a hundred. That's fantastic. That means that that will cover the cost of taking care of our chicken. So our little chickens that we are going to be getting that you guys have told me all about um let's see they would go into our little chicken coop and you guys already have come up with a really great name for them leia mentioned the name uh, or excuse me whiplash mentioned the name radish that we should name our very first hen radish because we are going to be buying it with radish money money made from selling our radishes and i think that sounds really cool and then steph cardo's was really awesome and taught me a lot about how to take care of our chickens if you give our chickens chewy treats 
REITs. So there's a lot of investment into raising like the livestock. I'm already realizing that. But if you give them chewy treats, then that will increase their production and they can lay more eggs every day. Isn't that amazing? I don't think I've ever played a Harvest Moon where the eggs would double up every day. And apparently they can lay up to like 20 pieces of produce. And I, I don't know if I read that right. I don't know if I understood that correctly because 20 eggs a day from a chicken that just sounds like we would just be we would be so famous I have no idea what I would do with that many eggs I would probably cook a lot of them and then sell a ton of them and also if you give them fluffy treats then it increases the size of your animals so that they will win festivals more and that just like blew my mind too and if we leave room uh, for our wool bearing animals in the barn. Wow, that's so cute. I jumped straight into the barn. But if we leave room for like the alpacas and the angora rabbits, and I don't know if there are sheep. I, I would bet you there are some sheep in this barn. Then when we go ahead and take care of them, we'll gather up wool and the wool can be used to make really, really adorable clothes. And I'm just so excited. So thank you so much, Steph, for telling me all about that. I'm really looking forward to it. And then Leia actually mentioned that the radishes are going to win out over the potatoes in terms of how much money you can make from them due to the fact the radishes grow so much faster. So I do need to get more radish fields planted. But uh, she did mention you do want to grow a whole bunch of the different crops every year during each season so that you can save them for cooking. And that's a very good point. I am so spoiled on having a greenhouse. I don't even know if there's a greenhouse in this particular version of the game. So we'll have to find out. But oh, there's just clearly so much to do. So let's go ahead and let our little one sleep for the night. She's got her bellflowers and her marguerites growing. Oh, and then that's another thing. So you guys know how we keep failing the shipping quest for the flowers, even when I ship all of my beautiful wildflowers? Well, it turns out Atlanta Hammy mentioned this and a whole bunch of people said thank you to them because they were also getting this wrong. You can only ship flowers that you grow for those kinds of quests. So here I was gathering up all those wildflowers thinking, yay, I'm, I'm doing my part-time job. And no, I wasn't. They wanted flowers that you grew on your farm. So when it comes to shipping quests, it has to be stuff that you produced on your farm, not stuff that you gathered in the wild or possibly bought in a store. Like I was thinking about buying some vegetables and selling them. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right. So whew, we did our very first little bit of fishing today. I'm so excited. And then today was Noelle's birthday. Yeah, we took care of that last time and nothing is scheduled for the next few days. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Whew, what a busy day. I'm so excited though. Let's see if we made any money. <gasps> Desi! Oh my gosh. The weather sure is nice this morning. Maybe I'll go take a walk. Oh my goodness, you guys. If Desi's who I think it is. Oh my gosh, I got so excited I sneezed. I'm sorry. All right. La 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 dee da. Oh boy. Okay, look at all the cactuses. Why are they so cute? I love how... Oh, look at that! You guys! You guys, do you know who that is? Do you know who that is? This is a big deal. This is a really big deal. That's not a little kid playing in the water. Not a little kid playing in the water at all. Oh my gosh! Hum, hum, lum, dee dum, la la la, dee dum. Oh, and she's just singing and having a beautiful time early in the dawn sunrise. Oh, I'm so happy. Back here at last. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. It was my own fault for messing up that spell that I had to, um, leave. But now that's all over and I can go back to doing my guardian work. I can't wait to get started. You guys, it's Desi the Harvest Goddess. And meanwhile, little, little farmer series rubbing her eyes like, what am I seeing here? Something very special. Hmm? I don't recall seeing that mortal around here before. I wonder what your name is. Abra Cadabra. Oh, that'd be so cute if she just waved her giant, like, little, little flower wand at me. That's adorable. Oh, so it's Siri? I see, I see. Relative of Mr. Franks is working to become a great farmer. Interesting, interesting. Did she just get to learn all about me with a magic spell? You could just ask. Are you going to give me a customary hug too, Desi? Oh, I love her hair. I love her flowers. Oh, how odd. They seem to be acting surprised. And it happened right after I spoke too. But mortals aren't supposed to be able to see or hear me. Whoa, really? Oh, cool. I got special abilities. But thinking about it, we've been looking at each other this whole time. 
Desi, I'm so excited. Is it because I'm going to take such good care of my farm? I have a special bond with plants, you know. <laughs> that was so cute. We get to surprise the harvest goddess. Ah, so you can see and hear me. Wow, amazing. It's been decades and decades since I last got to speak with a mortal. This is so fun. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Desi. The harvest goddess. Gosh, I love her flowers. I just imagine they're like golden flowers. Uh, like either made out of gold or like flowers that might as well be made out of gold. Oh, it's so pretty. I live in this river and it's my job to watch over and protect the little town of West Town. I'm very new in my duties as a guardian, so I'm sure I won't get everything just right. I don't know if I would want a guardian who wasn't entirely sure of themselves though. That sounds like it could be a little bit of a recipe for disaster. But I hope we can still be friends. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, and I am a deity, so I have all kinds of nifty magical powers. I'm sure some greater purpose must have guided to the two of us to here today. So if you don't mind, I'd like to help you out with the wireless play. Whoa, what's this? Really? I can? Thank you so much. I'll do my best. All right, what are you up to, Desi? Wireless play. I have no idea what that is. You know what wireless play is, right? It lets you warp to other worlds and play with your friends. Okay, what? Why don't we go visit one now? Alakazam! Wait, what? Like being able to go to other people's entire farms? <gasps> Where am I? Oh my gosh, this is cool. Oh my goodness, where the heck? You mean I can go see other people's farms? Can I go see your guys' farms? Surprised? We're in a different world right now. This is just a deserted island for right now, though. Now, let me teach you everything you need to know about wireless play. Do you have any questions about wireless play? Oh my gosh, what can you do in this world? That's a good question. In this world, you can do actions, chat, and give other farmers the items you brought as presents. <gasps> you guys have fun with that bee to be able to visit with you guys. Not only that, but you can go fishing and try the item changer. If you want to try using the item changer, you'll have to use the stone cliff up those stairs, okay? Wait, what's the item changer? You put an item on the pedestal right in front of that plith and poof, it turns into a different item. Into what? Nobody knows. You might even get a rare and valuable item from it. That sounds so cool. Do you have any questions? Uh, let's see, uh, actions in chat. While you're here visiting your world, the touch screens will have chat and action buttons displayed. When you want to chat, type the keyboard icon in the bottom. Okay, good, type in the message. So six different actions we can do. We can be happy, get angry, look sad, look perplexed, be surprised, blush, and think. Choose whichever action you think fits when you're feeling, uh, what you're feeling the best. Okay, wonderful, thank you, Desi. Oh, she's so short. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, how to start wireless play? I'm just gonna glance at this. Start wireless play, uh, uh, wireless communications, go and talk to Desi. Always be around at the river bank. And then once we say hi, we can decide on what to bring. We can bring up to four things from the bag. You can give these items as gifts, so it would be super nice if you chose things other people might enjoy. That's cool. And then you go into wireless communication mode. Uh, different wireless communication modes. Open an island, search for an island. Islands are worlds like this. When you choose, you can invite other farmers into it. If you pick search, you'll go to a word, world another farmer has made and visit them instead. And okay, awesome. It sounds like we can just bump into some other farmers. It might be really fun to be able to see if there's anybody nearby where I'm at. Uh, how to quit sounds like a very important thing. Okay, yep, all right. All right, good. Good. Okay. So I think I know. I think I know what we need to do. I wonder. Can you visit this little island without? Uh, when you use wireless play, your farmer's name and your farm name will be displayed to the players you're connected with. When you use the chat feature, the messages you enter will be displayed to the players you're connected with. So be careful what you choose to type into the chat. Okay. Okay. Now I'll take us back to our world. Alakazap. That's so cute. I wonder if I can go use the stone. Plith, um, I'm just gonna call it like the the stone column without even having to worry uh, about like going to visit other people. We'll have to see. 
I look forward to helping you visit all your friends, both near and far. Come talk to me whenever you'd like. Guys, that would be so fun to be able to say hello to you guys and just like have a special, special day of going to visit people. Wow, look how much money I've got. Oh, my paycheck has come in. Oh my goodness, we could do wireless play. Holy days. What a busy morning. Wow. Whoa, what's going on? A present from Desi, and then she shows up to be nice to us. Oh, this is so exciting. Siri, hey Siri. Where are you, Desi? Oh, of course she would just appear out of thin air. Oh, she's so cute, look at her. Nice to see you, Siri, how's it going? She's so cute. Wow, you sure have found lots of bugs, Siri. This is it. This is the thing that happens if you start researching all the bugs. Like I have, I wonder if I've already found a hundred bugs. Because every hundred bugs you find, she will show up and give you a special item. Isn't that so cool? Let me give you something for all your hard work. <laughs> <gasps> What's that? You received some uniform fertilizer. Nice. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Desi, the Harvest Guardian. If you catch a whole lot more bugs, I'll give you another present. Good luck. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So every every time we find 100 bugs, uh, from what I've heard, she will show up and give us a special gift. So what did Desi just give us? We're friends with the Harvest Guardian. How cool is that? Uniform fertilizer. A type of fertilizer increases the size of your crops. Oh, we should probably save that. That would be so cool, you guys. We should save it and use it as a special item. All right, let's go ahead and water them today. But we should save it for when I know that we're going to need our crops being kind of like top of the top so that we can maybe win a festival or have some sort of special food apparently you can make like a ton of meals at once when you get really good at cooking which i thought was amazing when i heard about that all right anything to pick up over here today what an amazing start to the day i really want to go talk to desi and see if we can maybe pop into that island all on our own and if we can can i use that random item generator because i am such a fan of random items i just think it's so much fun and to transform- oh look, there's a bee! Alright, come here little bee, I've got to catch you! Mm, I think I have to put this away first. There we go. But yeah, if we look at all of the little bugs, then eventually we will be able to- do, 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 Let's grab the watering can. Eventually we'll get more free stuff from Desi, so she must just get really excited. Maybe she loves butterflies and stuff like that. And she gets really excited when we find things, and will give us- just presents, rewards. So it's just a way to get like some free, really nice items. And I think that's pretty cool for just going around to poke some bugs. Oh my gosh. So we've run into the Harvest Goddess. I'm gonna call her the Harvest Goddess most likely, even though her name I think has always traditionally been Desi, which is kind of cute. But we've run into her today. We've done our first little bit of fishing today. And now I am watering my potatoes. I need a little bit more energy for that. And, I mean, we still have to get our, our chicken, and I have more than enough money to get my very first chicken, and maybe even get some more radish seeds, and I might even have to get some food, because now we're investing in a lot more energy usage. So, let's see. All right. I think first things first, I want to ooh go poke this butterfly. Thank you, little bush brown butterfly. Man, I can't believe I've already found a hundred of the little the little bugs. And apparently, these animals, by the way, you guys, who you see wandering around everywhere, you will actually be able to put your Story of Seasons game in sleep mode. And while you're walking around, these animals are not actually animals that we can tame. These animals are actually street pass placeholders. So what will happen is while you're walking around with your Story of Seasons game in sleep mode, you can run past other people who are also playing Story of Seasons, and the cat and dogs and all of the other wild animals who are hanging around um, not the the foxes I should say the dogs and cats who are hanging around will actually take up that person's street pass information and I think you can get like a special item from them I'm not sure but basically these are ones we can come over and we can pet but we can't ever tame or take back because they're just placeholders for other people's farms that we could run into while our 3ds is in sleep mode and we're just running past so I still have to learn what the heck that all means but it means that we, we can pet the little adorable beagle, but he's never going to become our own But we can buy beagles and other creatures other animals from the pet shops when the time comes Now the wild animals are not placeholders They're just like adorable little wild animals that show up and we can actually just leave them treats and Eventually become friends with them. So I'm gonna put down a walnut hold 
Maybe I should try transforming a walnut. And I'm gonna put it down. And we're gonna let the little guy, we're gonna let the little one eat it. Is he gonna eat it? Ah, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, so I think today we definitely got sidetracked with adorable Desi. I'm gonna give this little puppy a little, a little scrub on the head. And we're gonna run over here and look at these little bugs. Yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna say hello to the kids really quickly. I'm gonna play all day. And how are you doing today, Noelle? You had your big birthday yesterday. Have you heard my mama sing at all? She sometimes does a show at the restaurant. She's super duper good. I'm gonna practice singing lots and lots so that when I grow up, I can be just as good a singer as mama. Oh, that's so sweet. And how are you doing today, Colin? When I try to run, I trip. When I try to swim, I sink. I get tired easily too. Exercise is hard. Oh, that's so cute. All right, and let's come over here. So I'm really curious, and here's little Desi. So Desi will show up over here. It looks like she spends a lot of time playing with the butterflies and the other creatures over here. So let's talk to her and see if I can set up that island and then maybe go make some of my items kind of random. Farmers are more like other pe are, are more likely than other people to be able to see us, but that doesn't mean every farmer can. Hmm? What is it that lets people see us? I don't know, really. All I know is that everyone who can is special somehow. Uh, sorry, that's not very helpful. All right, so if I want to, what do you mean, gather up items? Uh, network play, multiplayer, and then Alakapus. Okay, write in your journal. So you have to save before you start network play. Got it. So we're gonna test this out just really quickly, you guys. And I wanna see, um, connect with people nearby. I'm gonna just get an internet connection. There we go. Oh, I guess I have to, I guess I have to like set some, uh, let's open an island. And then, oh, the items to bring. Okay, so let's bring my killifish. And then let's go ahead and bring, what else do I have? Oh, I have three uniform fertilizer. Desi, you're so nice. Let's find my lowest, like my lowest quality items. Let's bring, um, let's bring, the walnut, one walnut, and let's bring, what else do I have? Another walnut, oh, and let's bring a rock. It's not like I can really use a rock for much. So there we go, all right, next. Starting wireless play, totally cool. And then, that's fine, I don't have any other farmers coming with me. Do I just set it up, like, randomly? Hmm. All right, you guys, I don't think you can cheat the system and be able to go use the stone thing when you want to all by yourself. I think you have to have other farmers visiting with you. Gosh darn, I was really hoping. I was really hoping. All right, what if you search for an island and then, no, 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 yeah, no, no, we were good. We were good on the rock. Can I search? Oh, we can't find any other farmers. All right, I'll have to I'll have to look nearby me and see if we can make that work out. But now we know about that. So we know about the network play, we know about the islands, and that means that somehow I might be able to hang out with you guys, and I'm gonna have to figure out uh, how we can make that work because I would love to be bringing some gifts for people and then also bringing some items so we could use the random little object changer. That sounds like it would be so much fun. And we have so many new things we can work on just collecting up those bugs so that Desi can give us some cool items is so fun and I think today maybe maybe today in the game day it's the day that we might have to go over and we might have to see about getting a chicken. But I think that is gonna be next time because holy moly, we have covered a lot today. We have met Desi. I really cannot wait to figure out if you guys know how wireless play works or how we could maybe set something up. Uh, so maybe like one day a month, we could do a special stream where I could hang out with you guys in wireless play and we could trade items and fun things like that. Let me know. Maybe it could just be like something special that happens on rare occasion. Uh, Cause I'm not exactly sure mm, how safe it would be to just open up the world to you guys guys and I, I love you guys and I trust you guys but you gotta be careful so let me know what you guys think about that because it's something I'd love to take advantage of especially if I could see all of your cool outfits and be able to see what's going on in your world and the items that you have and what if you could make little food dishes wouldn't that be so cute to have a picnic with people <gasps> the possibilities are endless but all right I'll see you guys next time when we are going to be snagging our chicken I'm very very excited about this so I'll see you guys then bye bye